Hello. Uh, I wanted to share my experience with uh, Hobby King flexible filament that I have tried out. Uh, I recently started to uh, print, use it, and uh, I'm really impressed uh, uh, by it. Uh, it's really cool, I think. Very usable for the applications that uh, I wanted to show you. Uh, for instance, uh, I have uh, the first thing I printed was uh, uh, a camera holder for my quad, like the one here. This is for a UE uh, camera. Uh, I uh, wanted it to be as light as possible, so I printed a fair number of versions here. This one is uh, is uh, quite stiff, but it's heavy too. It's around uh, 25 grams. And I changed it to, to this is 100% uh, infill and uh, some uh, thicker walls. And uh, this one is uh, without uh, infill uh, and uh, still the same thick walls. And I got it down to around uh, 22 grams. Uh, this one I changed uh, the... I use slicer for these, and this is Craftware, and uh, did a new uh, profile for TPU. I forgot to say this. This is Hobby King uh, uh, Colidu TPU uh, filament. It works very well in my printer. That is an one how duplicator i3. This one is okay, it's quite stiff, uh, but it weighs around 18-19 grams, which uh, I thought that uh, that is a bit too much. Then I printed uh, with only one layer, a thin layer, and no uh, walls, uh, no infill at all. And it's very light, it's uh, 9 grams, but... Uh, it's too soft. I think this is uh, so cool. This material, you kind of can can squeeze it, and and it just pops out again. But this is too flimsy to use on a quadcopter. So the last one, this is uh, what I'm using right now. Uh, it's uh, it's the same one as this using Craftware. Uh, but with 10% infill, you can see the lines here with the infill, uh, I think, I don't know if you can see it in, in the video. Yeah, you can see it here. And this weighs around 11 grams. It's still soft, but uh, it works. Uh, I strap it to the quad with uh, two uh, uh, straps here. One is broken from a crash, because you crash all the time, right? Another application I'm using a TPU for, or flexible filament, is uh, lens protectors. It's very good for lens protectors. I used ABS uh, and, uh, before, but the ABS uh, can take one uh, crash and then it cracks. And, but uh, this, this, this doesn't break. And it protects uh, the lens. Uh, also, a great protection is uh, uh, this is an Amway antenna, like this one. Uh, I have printed it in two different filaments here. This is uh, the TPU from Hobby Kim that I talked about before. And uh, this one, this filament I got yesterday and I tried out. It's a Hobby King flexible filament. And I think it works very well. Uh, uh, this is the same. So, and uh, it's quite soft. But it will, it will take a punch and, and protect the antenna. And uh, this is an Amway antenna here. So it goes inside like that uh, 
and then you can just use a, I don't know the name for that, cut stripper in Swedish. <laughs> and you can hot glue or just glue it together if you want, but it will stay, it will protect that and uh, without using any glue. Uh, if you're interested, I have a uh, copy of the Amway antenna here. This is real ack and uh, it's identical, I would say. You don't have the sticker beneath the antenna here. That's a difference. It's, uh, it's the same semi-rigid wire that is nice. So I haven't really tried. I haven't tried the, the this yet, but I expect it. I hope it performs as well as the Amway antenna. It's it's really nice. Uh, there is it on on uh, on an antenna. Also, uh, I am building a. A brush, brushless uh, micro quad. This is a doinker uh, frame. You can find it on Thingiverse. So I, I printed this in uh, ABS before. It's really hard. Doesn't flex much at all. Uh, I think this will work very well. It's I think it was uh, 25 grams this frame as it is. It's 100% infill. And yesterday I printed it in uh, in this Hobby King flexible filament uh, with 10% infill. Uh, the same uh, settings as, as my uh, cam camera mount. But this is uh, quite uh, soft so I wonder how it will perform in the air. Uh, I plan to put the ESCs in between here so it will stiffen it up and also when when uh, we get some uh, electronics inside I can uh, maybe mount it in a way so it will stiffen up the frame because this one is it's unbreakable. It will not break. I, I think that a couple of crashes into the wall or the ground with this one it will break and uh, there is an has it takes some time to to move all the components to a new uh, frame I hope this one will works but this one it's it's much lighter than this one it uh, it was around 15 grams I think with so I, I could uh, uh, probably print it with 100 percent infill and it will stiffen up a bit uh, anyway, here is samples of uh, of the two uh, filaments. So this is the Colido filament. Uh, they are both 175 millimeters, uh, and uh, we can check what they are for real. 176. Let's try it again. 174 176 173 and this one 170 so this one is uh, a little bit thinner uh, than uh, the TPU Colido TPU but they uh, both work very, very well in my printer uh, but uh, when I started with the, with this one, I had a problem uh, with the, the filament uh, turning or or bending between uh, the 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 hot end and the the mating screw uh, <laughs> the, the screws that pushes the filament down into the hot end. It's like one centimeter that it has to push. And uh, I solved that by uh, putting some Teflon uh, tube between uh, the hot end and uh, so close as possible uh, to the filament. 
and uh, after that uh, I have no problem with uh, any of these filaments uh, and uh, they feel uh, they feel the same they're uh, in in uh, it's hard to tell I, I will try to uh, stretch them out both let's see so we have uh, this, they are the same length about 10 seven centimeters here and uh, I don't know how scientific this test will be but uh, I will try to stretch them as far as I can so we start here from two maybe from 200 and it stretches to okay I have to go to 100 here uh, okay let's start from 50 uh, oh oh it didn't break <laughs> but uh, it really stretched so let's try uh, that, that was the TPU and you can see how how flexible they are it's insane this is uh, the hobby king flexible filament so let's try again oh, okay it flex this is it feels like the same uh, but, uh, this is not as flexible as tpu i can tell but it kind of stopped there so but so uh, the hobby king filament is uh, a little bit less flexible and you can see afterwards that uh, this one uh, stays longer <laughs> after i pulled it but this kind of pulled back to uh, it was 10 centimeters and now it's but this one is uh, 23 centimeters so it's double the length but it didn't come back to the original size as well as the the hobby king uh, flexible filament so I, I think uh, if you have any questions, uh, please leave some comments. I will answer them as soon as I can. Thanks. Bye.